let's take a look at how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. Evaluate express as a mixed fraction. Okay, and our question is 2 times 5 over 6. Okay, so when you're multiplying with fractions, it's nice to write the whole number as a fraction as well. Well, remember, you can write any whole number as a fraction by putting it over 1. Right? 2 over 1 is the same thing as just 2. So when I multiply, I'm going to think of this as 2 over 1 times 5 over 6. And your rule when you're multiplying with fractions is to multiply straight across the top or the numerator and straight across the bottom or the denominator. So on the top, 2 times 5 gives me 10. And on the bottom, or denominator, 1 times 6 gives me 6. Now notice this is an improper fraction, meaning the top number is bigger than the bottom. So when that happens, we want to simplify to a mixed fraction or a mixed number. So I want to think, well, how many times does 6 go into 10? Because remember, fractions mean the same thing as division, right? This means 10 divided by 6. Well, 6 only goes into 10 one whole time, right? 6 times 1 is 6. So if I subtract that, well, 10 minus 6, that would leave 4 left over out of my 6. So as a mixed number, I can say 1 and 4, 6. Now, I can actually simplify this even a little bit more because I can reduce the 4 over 6 part. So let's say 1. Remember, 2 goes into both of these numbers. They're both even numbers. So I can think of 4 as 2 times 2, and I can think of 6 as 2 times 3. So if I cancel the common factor of 2, well, remember we had a whole number of 1, and the fraction part, 4 over 6, would reduce to 2 over 3. So as a mixed fraction in lowest terms, I would have 1 and 2 thirds. Okay, we want to evaluate 5 times 7 over 8. Okay, well just like before, I want to write my whole number as a fraction. So I'm going to think of that as 5 over 1 times 7 over 8. Okay, and when you're multiplying with fractions, you multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator. So on the top or the numerator, 5 times 7 gives me 35. And on the bottom, or denominator, 1 times 8 gives me 8. All right, well, again, I have an improper fraction, which just means the top is bigger than the bottom. So I want to reduce that and make it a mixed fraction. So I want to think, well, this means 35 divided by 8. So how many times does 8 go into 35? Well, I know 8 times 4 is 32. So it has to go in four times, right? Since 8 times 4 is 32, well, if we subtract 35 minus 32, that's going to leave me with another 3 left over out of the 8. Okay? And 3 is a prime number, so 3 times 1 are the only factors for 3. 3 does not go into 8, so I can't simplify this anymore. I'm going to leave it as 4 and 3 eighths. One times five over six. Okay, well remember, multiplying by one doesn't change my value at all, so this would simply be five over six. Now, if you wanted to, you could write one as a fraction and multiply straight across, but it's still gonna give you the same answer because if you multiply straight across, okay, on the top, one times five is five, and on the bottom, one times six is six. And that doesn't simplify or reduce at all, so my answer is simply 5 over 6. Okay, 4 times 3 fourths. Okay, well let's write this as 4 over 1, and then we can set up our fraction multiplication. 4 over 1 times 3 over 4. Okay, now when you multiply straight across, you actually have two options here. I can multiply this out and then reduce it, or 
if I notice that I have a factor of four on the top and I also have a factor of four on the bottom, I can cancel those out before I even multiply. And then I would simply have three over one and we know three over one or three divided by one gives us just three. Now, if you didn't notice to cancel that, it's okay. If you multiplied the fours, you would say four times three is 12 and one times four is four. You would still get the exact same thing, right? 12 divided by four, it's still three. So just some options on how to work this out. Either way, you're gonna get three as your answer. Ten times three over four. Okay, well remember you can make ten fraction by saying ten over one, and then we're gonna multiply that by three over four. Okay, and if we multiply straight across, ten times three is thirty, and one times four is four. Okay, this is an improper fraction, right? The top is bigger than the bottom, so we wanna change it to be a mixed number. All right, well, how many times does four go into 30? Okay, well, I know four times seven is 28, so it's gonna go in seven times, right? Four times seven is 28, so if I subtract 30 minus that 28, it leaves me with two left over out of four. Now, I can reduce this a little bit more, right? My whole number is seven, but two goes into both two and four. So I can think of two as two times one, and I can think of four as two times two, and I can cancel out the factor of two on the top and two on the bottom. So this would simplify or reduce to seven and a half.